Hello, everyone. I'm Roman, and I work at POA Network. And we're just gonna hold it closer. Okay. Is it, is it better, right? Yeah, yeah. So we are a Ethereum sidechain with a proof of authority consensus uh, mechanism. So we are an EVM compatible network, and uh, our goal uh, is to provide a horizontal scalability approach to the current uh, scalability issues on the foundation network. So we are using parity uh, uh, authority round consensus, which we also audited. And uh, we, we wrote the, our own governance uh, smart contract system uh, so the validators of our network uh, can participate in ballots to add or remove a validator. Um, so uh, a few projects that we are working on are uh, open source blockchain explorer uh, that will allow the whole Ethereum ecosystem like to have an open source way uh, to to see the transactions on Ethereum to verify transaction uh, verify smart contracts in a most uh, like trustless decentralized way. Uh, so. If you, uh, why are we doing it? Because we believe uh, you can deploy your D uh, app, uh, your smart contracts on a foundation network and uh, delegate some of the computations to the side chains such as POA network. However, if you don't want to trust our network, we also developed a set of tools to deploy your own POA network using the parity, uh, uh, parity nodes, with a governance system that we built, and it's gonna take you less than five minutes to deploy to using our uh, deployment play playbook that we developed. And uh, another, uh, the second part of uh, of the solution is the parity bridge uh, that we also like. Uh, so the way it works is that you deploy the two smart contracts in two chains and uh, you deposit some, uh, let's say one of the use case would be like, let's say you want to tokenize the, your, uh, like our POA coin into mainnet uh, as a ERC20 to uh, token. So you would deposit the money uh, POA on the POA network that would uh, em emit an event, deposit event, uh, so the bridge authorities will pick it up this event and mint it on the foundation network uh, The amount of coins that you sent on a home network so that way the similar way you can uh, Transfer your own asset whatever it could be ERC 20 or ERC 721 any sort of asset uh, using the bridge so you can have these cross-chain transactions from any kind of EVM compatible networks. That's kind of in a nutshell. Do you have any questions or? Yeah, actually, um, uh, in, a, in order to add to what Roman said, that um, the core of our bridge is definitely parity bridge, but uh, we did some our own own um, enhancements to you know to um, in, uh, increase usability and first enhancement you see on this uh, slide the, that it's uh, bridge UI so it's very useful to see transactions which uh, which are passed through the bridge uh, and uh, it's all it's it, it is uh, the idea to have bridge UI was uh, from our side uh, that we started using the bridge and see that uh, and see uh, moments when some uh, assets stuck or uh, and, and we need to understand the reason why they stuck and so on so, and that's why we uh, think that uh, this bridge UI could be useful and another uh, big enhancement what we also using just now it's uh, uh, also deployment playbook for uh, bridges uh, so it's uh, very, you know, um, actually you can uh, use this playbook in order to have a uh, bridge configured and uh, deploy it in uh, in few few minutes. Uh, you need to just specify some few parameters in command line uh, and that's also, and you have uh, bridges configured. And uh, what is uh, currently uh, 
de developing uh, uh, by us that we um, uh, Max uh, and uh, Bjorn already said about um, authorities of bridges and uh, in order to have set up of all of these uh, bridges and authorities uh, uh, you need to deploy contract with uh, a hard coded list of authorities and what we do, do what we did is that we uh, extract this uh, in functionality in separate contract and you can control a uh, number of your authorities if you uh, by separate contract and if you need uh, increase or uh, remove some authorities by some reason so you can uh, don't need to redeploy your uh, bridge contracts and just do it uh, in a very useful manner. So, uh, and uh, actually that's all what uh, we would like to present to you, that uh, first, first of all that we have POA network just now and you can use it uh, uh, starting from today for your application. And uh, the next step that we will use the bridge uh, and uh, provide the proof that it works and it's secure by uh, tokenize our own uh, coin. So POA coin we will tokenize as POA to tokens uh, by sending them, th them through, through the bridge. And uh, um, after that we will say that bridge solution completely works and the, everyone could use it for the, uh, to transfer their sets or even uh, in the next version of the bridge to transfer any state of the bridge. Oh, sorry, in any state of uh, your contract to, through the bridge. Yeah, that's all. And if you have any questions, please ask. Any questions? No. Okay, we, it's our tables, you can ask them. Yeah, or if you want to see the live transaction, uh, we can show it to you. How to? How does it actually work? Do we have any final questions for the building? Is your building with the pixel developed? Or it's working as we speak. Yeah, I, that's why I come to our table and I can show it to you. You, you guys did a cross-chain cross share with it? Uh, no, we, we didn't do the cross-chain cross chain cross share. Yeah, it was a, a pilot, but uh, it was not completed at that moment. It was our in initial um, view that we could do this. So, and, yeah, and we actually tested it, but by some, you know, more even political reason, we did, did not this through the bridge. Okay. Yeah. Uh, are, are you collaborating with any other teams? And if so, what are their names? You mean? You mean for the bridge solution? Yeah. Yeah, we're definitely working with party, you know. <laughs> and if you look at, um, uh, repository, uh, you can see lots of uh, requests uh, with issues uh, on, on the repo. Okay. Yeah, thank you, Pirate.